What's going on Muscle Monsters, Align Gonzalez here and in this video I want to talk about three strategies that I used while I was traveling to stay lean. In fact, when I got back home, I was actually leaner than when I left and I was gone for about two weeks. Um, if you've been following me on Instagram, then you know that I was in Hong Kong, spent some time there and spent some time in Bali and then went back to Hong Kong and spent some more time there. All right, so these are the strategies that I used to ensure that I didn't get fat while on vacation. Not only that, but um, these are strategies that I used to uh, better enjoy my vacation, believe it or not. Now, first and foremost, I just want to say that um, I'm not one of those people who, when they travel to different countries, um, they're all excited about trying the different foods and things of that nature. Uh, I wouldn't consider myself a foodie, right? Um, so this may be a little bit more difficult for you if you are gung-ho on just trying all of the amazing foods these places have to offer. Uh, but nonetheless, I think that this will still be helpful. So the first thing that I did was I continued to follow my intermittent fasting schedule, okay? I didn't have my first meal a lot of times um, until 2 or 3 p.m. Now, there isn't anything inherently special about intermittent fasting. However, what it does is it minimizes the feeding window that you have in a day, thus automatically making it easier for you to stay within your calorie limits. It's going to be easier to stay within, say, 2,000 calories if you're only eating for six to eight hours instead of, you know, 14 hours, for example. So, you know, push your breakfast back. Start um, having breakfast at noon, maybe 2 or 3 p.m. if you can. Uh, if you're getting ready for a vacation now, right, and you're not used to the intermittent fasting, then start getting your body used to it now so you don't have to adjust while you're traveling. The way that you can structure this is pretty basic, right? Pick eight hours of the day or a window of eight hours in the day and stick to only eating your meals during that time. Uh, for me, it's usually, you know, somewhere between 2 and 8 to 10 o'clock, okay? You can do maybe, you know, noon to 8 o'clock at night, um, and then you cut off uh, any more calories after 8 p.m. The next thing is stay active. A lot of people, they go on vacation, they want to sit by the beach and just relax, and that's great. Um, however, uh, whenever you get the chance, right, whenever you're going somewhere, uh, see how far it is to walk. Usually if it's an hour or less, we chose to walk. Um, not only will you get to see more that way, right, but you're also going to burn more calories. Personally, I enjoy walking, especially when I'm seeing things that I've never seen before. Try to walk wherever you're going to go, but also try to work out regularly. I worked out the entire time I was gone, whether it was actually going to a gym or whether it was doing, um, you know, some body weight workouts in the hotel room. All right. If you don't want to spend too much time in the gym, then I've got plenty of workouts that you can follow um, that'll hit all the muscle groups you need to hit, um, but very quickly without having you spend too much time in the gym. All right. If you're traveling and you don't want to focus on staying on your program, at least do these workouts that are number one, going to burn some calories and number two, going to keep you active. Okay. It's also great for obviously retaining your muscle mass. So whether you're doing these, you know, body weight workouts in your hotel room or you're actually going to the gym, um, make sure to stay active. And again, walking is a big one. The more you walk, the more calories you're going to burn, and thus it's going to be easier for you to stay within your calorie limits, even if you're eating all of the delicious foods that you want to eat. And then last but not least, drink a fuck ton of water. And the reason you want to drink water, uh, aside from the obvious reasons, is number one, it helps you stay full and satisfied. And number two, when you actually do go out to eat and you want to indulge in all of the delicious food that these places have to offer, okay, you don't want to overdo it by wasting calories on 
liquid um, or on liquid calories, right? You don't want to spend all, you don't want to add, you know, 500 calories to your day just from soda or juice, right? Wouldn't you rather um, have more food? Anywhere in the world, typically, you will be able to drink the same things. You might not be able to eat the same foods though. So rather than drink the same things you're used to drinking, like soda or juice, drink water so that you're not wasting calories and you can instead use those extra calories for enjoying more of the food um, that you couldn't enjoy back home. So that's pretty much it guys. Start fasting in the morning, right? Push your breakfast back. And if you need help with fasting, you know, maybe drink some coffee, drink some water, um, some zero calorie energy drinks sometimes, you know, like a monster to help you stay full and satisfied. Uh, stay busy, stay active, stay moving. Make sure you're burning those extra calories by choosing to walk and by continuing to go to the gym or at least do some body weight workouts or circuits in your hotel room and drink more water, especially anytime you sit down to eat. So that's pretty much it, guys. Just three quick tips that I use to stay lean while on vacation. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, click the like button below. Do not forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.